I've never seen it. Do people, are surfers as territorial as people claim them to be? Yeah. Like I've, I've been in some places where... They're like, oh, no new people here? Yeah. The, well, there's also like secret spots in Hawaii where apparently the locals will like really... They tell you to scram. That's yeah. what, yeah. yeah. I'll let them, yeah. I'll Aloha cut them your some ass. slack. <laughs> yeah. History has allowed them slack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. What? Sure. You guys we'll give never you, been we'll bit sharing? Code. Yeah. <laughs> but I've just always heard that. I, I always wanted to try it. And Surfing? Then, yeah. They're like, it's well, fun. if you want to learn, you have to go to these little nooks because lots of places they don't like if you're there learning. That's true. I feel That's like you for can sure true. Take a class and mm-hmm. then it's like sort of understood that that area is like meant for beginners. Yeah, like, like sure. pu- public guide. beach. It's super like a yeah. very public sharky beach place. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's very shark infested, uh-huh. super dangerous. That's <laughs> where they teach the kids. Yeah, where all the rocks Inland. are. Yeah. It's yeah. just in Glendale. <laughs> I saw just one video of kite surfing one time, mm-hmm. and I was like, "This I could do this." Yeah. And then I subscribed to a kite surfing Reddit and follow <laughs> kite surfing Instagrams, and I've never thought never about done it. Ever it. Again. <laughs> People are just like, "Look, everyone thinks this looks really fun because it is fun, yeah. and it costs about ten thousand dollars to get into, mm-hmm. and takes you like five years before you can do it alone." Ocean yeah. Like, this is the highest so barrier. For, yeah. They're All super expensive. Them. Like mm-hmm. I got scuba certified a few years ago, and it's the it sunk me financially. <laughs> <laughs> like, <it's, laughs> Which is the opposite of what you're hoping yeah. to do long. Term. Just breathe through it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just breathe through the I stress. I literally can't afford to. I <laughs> wish that I could. It's so much fun. They're though. as expensive probably as mountain sports, like skiing and yeah. snowboarding. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. there's the whole travel. You got to get there. You have to have safe equipment yeah. or you might as well not do it. Yeah. It's very expensive to change your rel- how relative to sea level you are, up yeah. or down. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. If you're trying right. to go negatives, pe- it gets right. more expensive the yeah. further down mm-hmm. you go, unless you skimp on things <laughs> and you blow up near the Titanic. That's yeah. why the uh, most <laughs> affordable sport, run, running. Running on flat ground yeah. near where you live. Yeah. <laughs> Zero feet elevation. Right. I mean, you don't even need the shoes. You're right. They help. <laughs> they help. I do that, and I'm like, oh, it's so hard on my knees. I might as well just scuba dive. Yeah. <laughs> I might as well just do the safe thing and scuba well, dive. Well, even the most famous runner ever died doing it, marathon. Yeah. He ran, and he then ra- he, he died. died. Oh, that's he during died the marathon? At the end of it. Who was this? Well, marathon was his name. Great at it, <laughs> Mr. Marathon? It was the Greek guy that they named the marathon after. Oh, it was the yeah, actual yeah, yeah. He, like, guy. delivered a message, 26.2, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> assistant to the regional marathon. <laughs> <laughs> He just ran 26.2 miles to like deliver a message that war was coming. Yeah. And then he got there and his heart exploded and he died. And they were like, well, we're going well, we to we you know train would, people to do that. You know what wouldn't be taunting him at all? <laughs> if most ants could do it. <laughs> if, like, if, if your Aunt Sally did it and put a bumper sticker on her car, yeah. the thing that killed you. Um, but he, you know. Rest in peace. Yeah. My Rest guy. in peace. He probably was Alexander fake. Marathon. Alexander That's probably Marathon. pretty close. Julius. Yeah. Julius, <laughs> Julius <laughs> Alexander it's Marathon. It's either the, the bumper sticker or a salad. Those were your two yeah. options right. if you died back then. Yeah. Right. That's all you got. Everything was so limited. Those um, were the two. Surely he was a mad man. There it is. That was the transition. Nice. Could yeah. you imagine I was strong. sitting on that really since strong. I knew you were doing this movie like three weeks ago for this show? We um, all fu- found our light and camera so quickly. We did. We start recording now. <laughs> Um, Brent Pella is here. What's going on, everybody? First time Thanks on the for podcast. Me. Really appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having never seen Mad Men. Yeah, it's uh, it, it wasn't hard to not ever <laughs> sure. see it. I'll be honest. It was one of the easier things I've done. The running was scuba say no. of, of not seeing, if you will. Yes. Mm-hmm. Where I would say the scuba diving of not seeing, which is uh, this mer- metaphor is going nowhere. Uh, the running was good. Yeah. No, the I jogging of not seeing I think we should be allowed something. to bail on riff <laughs> metaphors yeah. and just edit them out later. Yeah. No, just bleep it, but keep it in. <laughs> just Sorry, do a long could, beep. The algorithm would have punished me. It was so good. <laughs> yeah. I, you have to say unalived the show <laughs> when you say not not watching something. <laughs> I feel like that is unhealthy. We yeah. all have like the, the switch internet, to right? unalive. It is. I think oh, dude, it's so unhealthy. Un- I think saying unalived instead of suicide or ki- yeah. even killed. Yeah. Yeah. Unalived himself, and I feel like it's an unhealthy avoidance thing to appease the algorithm because these apps that pretend they're not for kids, no kids are on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it's not good. It's the same thing with dead and died. Dead, and died. people use asterisks instead of just putting the or word. Or just like Or gesture and, or yeah. say like is no longer in this plane, which is, I yeah. guess, I mean, I have a lot of hippie <laughs> friends that talk that way anyways. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. But. It's finally nice to appropriate hippie culture instead of the other right. way around where they're appropriating <laughs> someone else's culture. 
<laughs> we're actually finally monetizing hippies for the first time. We should put yeah. them on some treadmills. Um, yeah, I just think it is. I have a. I talk a lot about suicide and a lot about dying in comedy that I'm doing right now, mm-hmm. and I don't ever bleep it out. And I feel like it's very weird to avoid talking about things. It's not a curse word. Yeah. I think honestly, bleeping out a lot of curse words is odd. I always thought it was weird to bleep out uh, God and goddamn. Yeah. Oh, that that's out. interesting. Or yeah. a hole in asshole. Yeah. 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 I thought it was odd, but yeah, I we're really focusing on the wrong part. Yes, yeah, the wrong. Yeah, we are. <laughs> a wrong segment. It of is the funny word. to bleep out what part of the ass it is. <laughs> 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 but if you bleep out the ass of asshole, people are like, did he say mouth hole? <laughs> yeah, right. True. What orifice was he just <laughs> referring to there? <laughs> orifice Marathon could have been his name. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't bleep out any I of the words? I don't like, no, in my and performance ha- shows. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to ask if the engagement has... It's never good that. anyways, because okay. I took like five months off of posting on TikTok. So mm-hmm. now you're yeah. they're like, you're basically starting over. Right. Um, yeah. But I don't... It just feels... I don't know how old you are. I'm 35. 34. Uh, I feel like it makes me think 20-year-olds are boomers. And this, like, yeah. cursing is wrong. Mm-hmm. Or even though I don't know if yeah. they believe that. Or to them, they're like, cursing is illegal. I think they're more like, uh, when it comes to talking about suicide and death and heavier topics, there's just, there's an avoidance. It's yeah. such an yeah. avoidance. And I don't know, I don't know about the cur- cursing feels more like uh, bowing down to the algorithm. Yeah. But I do think they're like, like trying to avoid talking about darkness at any point. You just see, you just yeah. see kids out on like Venice Boulevard with little mics that mm-hmm. are like, "Do you think Jeffrey Epstein unalived himself?" Right. And right. I'm like, this feels completely <laughs> right. unhealthy as it's, a whole. <laughs> yeah. Because we know he didn't. <laughs> and I, I think I don't know. It all just feels very odd to me, and it feels like uh, like Puritan references to it things. Is. Mm-hmm. It's, it's weird that like I really do think all of it ca- came from like this place of trying to appease the algorithm to get more attention. But now it's become like homogenized language, and mm-hmm. so everyone thinks that it's like what we all want to hear or not hear. And it's right. so it's so off. It's so off because I feel like that is what we want to talk about or like the more real topics because yeah. this is not algorithmic like this conversation or any conversation you would have like mm-hmm. naturally, but they don't know that because they spent two years inside, you know, like, right. I don't know. I Being inside for two years, anywhere from 16 to 23, I think is like. Science. It will take scientists a hundred years to see how this affected those. Oh, those for people. sure. It's bad. For Missing sure. your high school graduation. Yeah. Uh-huh. All these the sort of prom, weird formative all the moments. Big events. Prom is like shoved down your Dor- throat in movies. Uh, my sister was going t- into her uh, dorm year in college, yeah. freshman mm. year, and she couldn't go. She couldn't move into the dorms. Yeah, yeah. that's similar. Yeah. My brother was living in college, and yeah. it was just like. Some kids go home. You're left alone in this weird place. Well, you should leave now. Yeah. Do you ever go back to the weird, like this, if you're indecisive about school, which is already becoming, I think, a less consistent option for kids to yeah. figure something out from, yeah. it is such a, I mean, we we just, we're just like floating through space of the psychological damage that was done to the most vulnerable people. <laughs> yeah. um, old people, whatever. But like the younger people. Yeah, the younger people. <laughs> it's, the, the ones who matter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're talking about the future. Um, <laughs> I just hope they don't uh, un a suicide. Un a suicide. suicide. That's suicide. when you keep living. Yeah. That's, That's actually the nice birth. way to say yeah. uh, live, laugh, love is un a suicide <laughs> yeah. yourself. Uh, I am like, but I'm blown away. I don't know how we even started talking about this. <laughs> Unaliving yourself. Why are we talking about this at all? Mm. Who knows? Um, I don't know, but it is mad. I mean, I do remember seeing, I know it brings up, it is mad man. Hey. Um, well, there's a very good, uh, I don't mean to, uh, there's a good a good suicide scene in Mad Men. What am I fucking saying? <laughs> Dude, there is, is like there? a sick fucking What's suicide What's your guys' scene? favorite suicide <laughs> scene? <laughs> What's your favorite like super dark want? This is like, I want, this is I want to feel unalive with Kyle Ayers. <laughs> yeah. Where we talk about the sickest unaliving. Um, you ever watch that show, The Unaliviest Catch? About the Alaskan <laughs> fishermen? Where they're... Uh, <laughs> The Grateful Unalives. The Grateful like, Unalives. Like, <laughs> the, je- the, the, the Jelly Band. band. Yeah. <laughs> the jelly they can't band. say jam. It's too violent <laughs> to the berries. Jam with an asterisk. J asterisk M. Yeah. No, oh. I've just been listening to The Grateful Unalive. I love that so much. <laughs> um, okay, well, let's talk about Mad Men. I think yesterday was 37 minutes before we got to the script, and I we should do it more better. I should do it better. <laughs> sure. Um, Mad Men. 
one of these prestige TV shows. Mm-hmm. We can talk about it plenty, but I want to get into the script. Uh, is there anything you want to preface about having not seen Mad Men? You said there was a couple facts yeah. about it that you brought in. So um, I only knew like two strong things, but for the sake of this, I kind of twisted them because okay. I didn't know. I don't know how those things led. One was the lead character's name, okay, which I changed just okay. to be fun. Um, two, I know John Hamm is in it. And three, I know it has something to do. I know it's. I know it's set. I think it's set in the sixties, ish. If it's not, it's about to be. <laughs> and, um, and I knew it had something to do with like sales. Okay. Is okay. that right? Yes. Yeah. It's kind of in there. Okay. Very. I just didn't know what in there. industry or this anything is, like uh, that. This so. is um, one of the better rewatch value shows I think that exists. I had yeah. uh, infinite more fun watching this the second time than I did the first time. Oh, cool. I think I watched this half on DVD. Interesting. And when I was really sick in college, my friend got me these DVDs for the first three seasons. He's like, you're not like this. And then I watched the other half while it was on. So this is like oh, a cool. show I actually when saw. When did it kind of first air? 2010s? Eight, early 2010s? I think eight, nine, I think 10. 2007 was the past series. Seven. Mm-hmm. 2007. Okay. Um, first series. Wow. Lane Price in the house with that <laughs> reference. This is, this is the only British character on the show. <laughs> I'm like, Lindsay was so mean to him. <laughs> um, anyways, you're the guy who hangs himself. That's a spoiler Uh-oh. for the show. I'm sorry. Hey, you've seen <laughs> Mad Men, Jake, I assume? Yeah, I have. It's great, isn't it? I love Mad Men. It's oh, really, cool. really, really cool. great. Um, Is it It's dr- straight drama, right? Straight drama okay. and has like seven of the funniest things that's ever happened on television. Oh, no way. It, it's a, have you seen The Sopranos? Uh, loose it's episodes. like how funny things in The Sopranos are so absurdly funny okay. because it's, yeah. It, yeah. it's a tension-breaking thing. Yeah. Um, this, I would say, is an even slower burn than The Sopranos and kind of only existed on the back of a show like The Sopranos being around. Got it. Where pe- where the, <laughs> the, whoever, like, the Sopranos is out and everyone's like, oh, people will pay attention? Well, let's, let's, let's test that. Well, yeah. yeah <laughs> and yeah, then yeah, Madden yeah. was yeah. like, let's see if they'll read. <laughs> and it's not really reading, but a lot. It, it, but anyways, it feels like reading. I, this, like I said, the second time through, because you already aren't worried about big plot things happening. Yeah. It's such a good rewatch. Well, uh, let's cast this up however you'd like. Cool. Um, yeah, so I changed. I know the lead character's name is Don Draper, but I changed it just because I can. Okay. Um, yeah. And that's really the only thing that I knew. Okay. <laughs> uh, so let's go. Um, uh, I'll, be, I'll be George. That's the lead. Or no, you should be George. No, no, that's fine. You see yourself more in it. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> if casting Mad Men based off this table, I'm probably <laughs> not him. Okay. Uh, you you be... Um, who's the guy he talks to toward the end? Mr. Raymond. Great. Okay. Um, and then why don't you be... Uh, are you in this? No, no. Jake, Jake's, Jake's not in this. Okay, Jake's busy thinking about punk rock in England. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, why don't you be lobby desk guy? Perfect. And also, um, additional characters, Linda and young boy. You got it. Cool. All right. If anyone pops up, we can cast him as it comes in too. Okay, cool. Um, do you want me to read the action? Oh yeah, that's you. Okay, great. All right, here we go. <coughs> Mad Men. We're going to do a log line, th- <laughs> then the overview and then the script. Great. Perfect. Cool. Okay, yeah. here we go. It's one of my favorite orders. <laughs> awesome. And and here's the intro music. This has very iconic intro music, but we can't see it. We'll get flagged again. <laughs> Mad Men is a fictional portrayal of the highly competitive, <laughs> male-driven, tailored suit industry <laughs> of 1960s Chicago. <laughs> Overview. George McGuffrey, played by Jonathan Hamm is a no-nonsense, shrewd businessman who is a self-made entrepreneur. From selling his parents' socks in elementary school (laughs) to working retail at O'Flanagan's shoe outlets in Middle East Detroit, George has worked his way up the corporate clothing ladder. (laughs) Because of his keen eye for marketing, no one can sell a suit like George. (laughs) Now, sitting atop the most powerful corporation in his industry, George must juggle his love for the artistry of tailored suits with the conniving forces of competitor companies trying to shake him from his throne, all while balancing an insatiable appetite for scotch and sex. (laughs) All against the backdrop of 1960s Chicago, 
I don't know where. <laughs> <laughs> close. Uh, where every single person walking in the streets wears a suit. Very close. Can George and his company meet the ever-rising demand of fashionable suits while maintaining company integrity? <laughs> <coughs> this is season one, episode one. Exterior Chicago office building. Morning. George McGuffrey, played by Jonathan Hamm, mm -hmm. wears a pinstriped suit and tie, holding a black briefcase. He smells important. <laughs> the security guard for the building opens the door and nods to George, who nods back with a quick smile. As the door closes, the security guard subtly fist pumps to himself. He got the smile back. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Interior, office building, lobby. George walks through a busy lobby. All heads spin toward him. Uh, hello, Mr. McGuffrey. Yeah. Hello, Nell Lenny. George walks past Lenny and into a crowded elevator. A young boy looks up at him. George looks down with a smile. I like your suit, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the Chicago accent is perfect. It's got, yeah. <laughs> it might be a young Chris Farley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, young man. Perhaps one day you'll grow up to own the most successful men's suit company in North America. Then you'll be able to wear something even nicer than this. Really? <laughs> Probably not. It's Versace. George steps off the <laughs> elevator. <laughs> and out into a busy landscape of office cubicles. The young boy begins tearing up as the elevator doors close. <laughs> Interior office space. Every single person sitting at a desk or walking around the office <laughs> is wearing a suit and drinking a glass of scotch. <laughs> There's no person in the room who does not have a glass <laughs> of scotch in their hand. <laughs> Nearby, <laughs> nearby, a woman answering the company phone is smoking two cigarettes <laughs> with one hand. <laughs> Hello, Linda. Not going to fuck you, George. Fair enough. George, <laughs> <laughs> George, just another day in the office. George walks past the secretary Linda's desk toward his corner office. Interior, George's corner office. George, <laughs> played by Jonathan Hamm. That's part of the part of John <laughs> Ham's contract is to have his full name in each script. Played by Jonathan Ham, sits behind his desk and places his briefcase on top. He looks at the clock. It's a hair past nine a.m. George opens a desk drawer and pulls out a gallon of scotch. <laughs> he pours himself a triple and takes a sip as we hear a knock at the office door. Come in. Hello, Mr. McGuffrey. It's Rachel, twenty-seven years old, Catholic but the sexy kind. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Rachel. What's on the agenda today? Today you have a 2 p.m. meeting with the Russo and Russo and Russo <laughs> law firm. <laughs> They're looking to get matching suits made for their entire legal team. <laughs> well, they came to the right place, and so did you. I'm glad you <laughs> moved away from the Valley in 2019 Thanks. to live here in Chicago <laughs> in the 1960s. It's a, better <laughs> it's a better place for me to be. Um, oh, and also, just right now, Mr. Raymond is outside here for your 9 a.m. appointment. Ah, that's right. <laughs> Send him in. Keep, keep up the great work, Rachel. Thanks. In bustles, Mr. Raymond. Overweight, but only from the chest <laughs> up. <laughs> he, he carries an easel with large papers on it and sets it up across from George's desk. Oh. He's sweating. All right, Mr. McGuffrey, thank you for taking the time. I appreciate it. No problem, Mr. Raymond. I assume you've already been drinking scotch. Yes, of course. It's 1960. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so what's the latest on our competitor? Well, as you know, George, the Lancaster Suit Company is quickly becoming one of the largest suit makers in all of North America. They appeal to a younger demographic, which has been quickly purchasing their newest designs, some of which are quite questionable artistically. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Raymond unfurls the first peep of piece of paper, revealing a mock-up design for a suit that has pinstripes <laughs> going horizontally. Good God! Those pinstripes are going horizontally. I know! And the young people, they, they just love it. <sighs> well, that isn't right. It gets worse. Take a look at this prototype they're unveiling at tonight's America Suit Mixer in Atlantic City. <laughs> Mr. Raymond unfurls another paper. Revealing a suit uh, drawing made of ties. The entire suit 
is made of ties. And the necktie is actually a tiny little suit. George is shocked. No. Now, Mr. McGuffrey, I've been speaking with the boys down in research and design, and we- I've seen enough. George chugs his scotch. He opens up his briefcase and looks up at Mr. Raymond. Atlantic City, you say? Yeah, yes, Mr. McGuffrey. But I, I warn you, these Lancaster suit company folks are quite competitive. Competitive? Ha <laughs> ha! George slams his fists on the desk. The bottle of scotch knocks over, spilling all over the desk. George immediately begins Zamboni sucking the spilled liquid <laughs> and throws his head back with a rageful smile. <laughs> You know, when I was a boy, making suits by hand, I had always dreamt of having my own outfit. Outfit has double meaning here. Do you get it? <laughs> I did. I did get that. I always dreamt of the day that I would be able to craft handmade suits for the masses. And I knew I would face various challenges along the way. <laughs> I'd face jealous men. I'd face spiteful men. Hell, I even knew I'd face competitive men. <laughs> but you know what beats out all other types of men, Mr. <laughs> Raymond? <laughs> Mr. Raymond shakes his head. No. George reaches into the briefcase and pulls out a Glock 45 <laughs> pistol. <laughs> Mad men. <laughs> George cocks the gun. <laughs> George straightens his tie. <laughs> 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 hey, Rachel, get your sexy assistant ass in here, woman. Yes, Mr. McGuffrey. <laughs> Book me a ticket to Atlantic City. It's time to make these men <laughs> mad. Oh, boy. <laughs> I really want to just use the copyright music so bad. Right. I'm giving myself a little <laughs> window here to do it eventually. <laughs> intro graphic. Uh, the intro sequence tells the story of young George. We see him making suits by hand. He's apprenticing as a puppet maker, then a grocery store clerk, then a teenage janitor at a porn theater in New York. Finally, George walks into a building with a sign that says, Clothing University. <laughs> Fade transition to an older George walking out of that same exact building, fully suited. Overlay text, Mad Men, parentheses, <laughs> starring Jonathan Hamm. <laughs> Wow. Oh. Wow. Are we pitch ready? Yeah. Or are we pitch ready? Oh, my God. <laughs> We're going to pitch slap them in the room. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. Wow. Uh, we got to talk about that, but first we got to real quick take a break, and then we're going to be right back. Cool. All right. Let me see. Uh, we're at just under 23 minutes. Great. Is everyone good? Is everyone yeah. Do you go to the restroom or anything? Uh, okay, we're back. Uh, you know, first off, perfect. <laughs> Yeah. First Did thing I do first, okay? No, no. Is that first all right? thing first, yeah. you're okay, the cool. realist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's perfect. I would say I've, it's simultaneously the most and least accurate script anyone's ever gotten <laughs> in the history of the show. So when, when, when people write their scripts, how, what's the like effort to try and be nailing the actual story? Uh, nowhere near this. Okay. But also sometimes they do much better. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would. This is what's the wild. Okay. So none of the details really. This, I'm. I'm. I was joking, but now I'm like, this is the closest and furthest yeah. away anyone has ever been. Really? Oh, this awesome. is one okay, cool. billion percent the exact tone of it's the show. Totally <laughs> is it perfect? Yeah. And then okay. you listed all the details you knew about it. I was like, he's gonna be pretty close. And then it was as far away as you could have been <laughs> while still utilizing those details. But you nailed the tone. I. I. Because I've seen images and yeah. like but I've never seen a trailer I've never seen an episode yeah I just know that it's I would all say John Hamm. uh big thing it's New York oh, okay it's advertising what I say Chicago uh instead of sales it's advertising so that, it is direct ad men mad men yeah oh, okay. um sadly I know where the term comes from Madison Avenue is where they work so they call oh. it the Madison oh interesting um, all right but literally exactly the tone mm -hmm. you will never never know how close teenage janitor at a porn theater in New York is <laughs> to actually being part of the origin story of Don Draper. <laughs> and I just, if you change that to New York State, you might be correct. Yeah. <laughs> and just like, you know, like a like a whiff of sexism. Oh, yeah, just a right? small... Wasn't like, that like part a, of the show? Like if you get yes. a whiff of chloroform to pass out, right. then there's a whiff right, of it right. in the show. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. like... Um, yeah, I would say it's... 
deeply sexist. It's, it is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Their behavior is the time is all baby. pretty. I don't want to say it's accurate. I have no idea. Sure. But hey, Rachel, get your sexy assistant ass in here, woman. I don't think he would even <laughs> uh, respect her enough to be to that forward about it. Yeah. Oh, okay. He probably just has a buzzer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's probably more of a bell. <laughs> yeah. Um. No. No. It's it's more of a slow burn, manipulative behavior. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. Um, but up front, just. Weird sexism, sick. You know, it's these are millionaires in the '60s for the most right, part. Right. But he is sort of a, a self-made kind of has lied his way, and manipulated and worked his way to being above where he is. Mm. Great show, really one of the better pilots of anything I've ever seen in my life. The first episode. Yeah, is the pilot. So oh wow. Really good. Okay. Maybe I'll watch the pilot. And, um, yeah, this isn't a Boeing pilot. We're tough folks. And no, um, come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> um. <laughs> That guy unalived himself. Yeah. 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 No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Forgot well, all about no, that. All questionably. That's, so, yeah, yeah Airplane <laughs> Company just killed a guy just who said the they guy. did something yeah. wrong. And we're like, yep. When's, yeah. when's the NFL draft? <laughs> <laughs> like, are you guys watching the women's college playoffs? Yeah, I know. Caitlin <laughs> Clark is really so good. good. She's, She's so incredible. good. She's so she good. She shoots from R-I-P-L-S-U. further away than the person who killed that <laughs> Boeing whistleblower. Yeah, anyways, I got to check into my flight <laughs> tomorrow. Mad Men is just so, it's very great. It's yeah. beautiful. It romanticizes. That's the thing. The first time I watch it, you're very much in love with how it looks. Mm-hmm. And the second time through, I watch it. I'm like, oh, it's definitely sadder than you think. Yeah. Mm. And sure. they're definitely not. They're not trying. They are and aren't like romanticized. But the first time you watch it, it's like pretty colors. You know, the sets and the, Great the like a rug like this one. And yeah. the costumes yeah. are all gorgeous. And everyone is like really well dressed the entire time. Oh, that's time. cool. Yeah. It, it, you know, it really put set a, men's hair back a while <laughs> because everyone was doing the Don Draper sort of yeah. slick for a little uh-huh. while when it came out. And then you watch it the first time, you're like, it, it, similar to something like Breaking Bad or The Sopranos, it has this like main character who is a horrible guy, but everyone's like, it's pretty. But he's charming. His life's tight. Yeah. 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 There's and is it 50s? Him. Is it 60s? Late 50s and late the 50s. 60s. I think okay. it might even hit 1970 by the end because oh. it sort of gets into the teetering into the territory of the world has passed him by. Mm. Um, but they're like Kennedy assassination is in one of the early seasons, maybe even the first one. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the late 50s is maybe when it starts. Cool. Mm. Um, very good. Very Dope. good. I, it's so funny to be on here, like championing a very famous award winner. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. You guys I'll should really it, check I this like out. It. Yeah, check it out. You should check <laughs> this out, The Sopranos, if you guys have time. Uh, if you like Lord of the Rings, you should watch them. Breaking Bad. Not sure um, if you heard. But it's. But you did exactly kind of nail. It is like cutthroat employment. That's kind of the. To- that's the vibe that I had picked up on just yeah. from seeing like graphics and remembering what people were talking yeah. about. Super competitive. Super toxically masculine. Oh yeah, um, there's like the and there's a lot of Scott. Of Everybody too. just used to a drink lot back of drinking. Then. That is such an. Obs- I think that because he's they smoke so much in the yeah. show too. Yeah, that it was a big thing when it was on, where people are like, "Is this making people want to smoke again?" And you saw cigarette sales changing, and then wow. you're like, "Well, what is he smoking on set?" And they were like, uh, "Herbal, were they some the herbal type ones? of." Uh, yeah, yeah, like one of those, real, like, yeah, but Marlboro. it's still so many of them. You're like, yeah. any of this has to be bad for you at yeah. some point. For sure. He smoked so many cigarettes. He came out the other side of the show thinking he was a comedian. <laughs> that, sorry, John Hamm. I'm kidding, but <laughs> he is very funny. Yeah. He's um, hilarious. Yeah, he's great. He's hilarious. When someone like that good looking is that funny, you just have to be upset at them. Yeah, like watching mm-hmm. Ryan Gosling being funnier than anyone I've ever met. Oh, what a Barbie, nightmare! Yeah. I'm Did like, that hurt? this isn't allowed. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, all the other yeah. guys in the movie who are really good looking are like kind of funny. Yeah. But then you're like, no, Gosling, you're not Gosling, allowed to. Gosling, you're be natural. Like Stop being Will naturally Ferrell, awesome. Yeah. Like levels of decision. He's funnier than Will Ferrell in the movie. Yeah. yeah. It's extremely yep. threatening. Yeah. It's so it's upsetting. So threatening. <laughs> no one's allowed yeah. to have all these things. Yeah. And then the fact that he is not insecure about it at all you're like no 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 i need you to have a <laughs> massive character flaw yeah. i need you to like push margot robbie or something yeah don't actually do that right or at but least like, go go back to real life and make a terrible right. mistake i need yeah. you to say that she make didn't a terrible deserve it. mistake yeah 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 <laughs> but no instead we go see dune 2 last night and there's a trailer for a movie where he's having even more fucking fun yeah oh no um, what is that the fall guy oh that's right is he like good. a stuntman that's or something right. in he's it? a stuntman in probably. it and falls in love and it's probably all gonna work out this motherfucker <laughs> 
this is probably just all like, gonna work. Yeah. Out. What's a movie where I can walk around slowly and have tight jackets? This guy is just like, <laughs> it's the worst. Then everyone with John Krasinski's wife on camera the whole yeah. time. It's gonna be insane when she realizes that someone can be look like that and be funnier than her husband. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot. Of if I was in a movie with Emily Blunt, I would gym to the camera all of the time. Oh, sure. for sure. Yeah. For sure. Um, I'll just make that part of the character t- trait. <laughs> I'm sure she's not tired <laughs> of it at all. Yeah. The only way she kept him from doing it was being in a movie where no one's allowed to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, because you it's in the quiet place, it shows up and he just goes, <laughs> he like gyms over to the camera as his, son's get, his son does it as he's getting ripped off a bridge. <laughs> or he turns the camera and just shakes his head. <laughs> they do a testimonial. Um <laughs> Anyways, good for Ryan Gosling. I hope he can. Cont- I mean, he is great. Yeah. Oh, he he's seems great. like a nice guy. The nice guys. He was so funny. We all saw it the coming. nice guys was phenomenal. phenomenal. Him and Ryan Reynolds are like, I think Ryan Reynolds is funny. Ryan Reynolds has his own like specific thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but Ryan Gosling can be funny in like various characters. He's got like mm-hmm. range. He's got range. He's, he's a triple threat. Gosling's got range. He does. Range. It's like yeah. uh, how Brad Pitt sort of evolved. Yeah. And he's like, well, I am a leading man, but I'm also kind of going to. If they didn't look like this, you're like, that's a character actor. Right. Yeah. You guys are behaving like Steven Root. <laughs> Steven Root? Uh, Which one's Steven he Root? is the stapler guy from Office Space. Oh, right. Or in right, Barry. Right. Yeah. Where you're just like, like you're making decisions that people who are less good looking get called character actors right. <laughs> or yeah. something like that. <laughs> yeah. In the best way possible. Yeah, totally. I think. Like Brad Pitt in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. I'm like, this is a big part of it is that he's ripped and in good shape. But I'm also just like, these are ridiculous choices. Yeah. And I think you just are chill about killing your wife in the movie. Yeah. And it's just, but he's so funny and so weird. Anyways, <laughs> I sure hope those guys get some attention. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to, before we move on, just in case people haven't listened to this, there's an episode of uh, Mark Maron's podcast that Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio are on. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Where they're like, it's right after the premiere, I think, yeah. or right after a showing, and they go backstage, and all Brad Pitt wants is Mark Maron to lose it. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I love yeah. your podcast. I love when you get angry. I love when you get And I Mark Maron's like nuts. in like recovery. <laughs> He's just and like I'm actually really trying to not spy. get angry, and, and Brad Pitt's, Brad Pitt's like, "Not, like, oh, dude, I love when you oh, lose come it." Oh man, it's so fun. And then the headphone <laughs> amp breaks. Yeah. And Mark Maron's like, "Ah, this shit." And Brad Pitt's like, "Here we go." <laughs> <laughs> He's like so excited for Mark Maron to like get mad at his oh, equipment. No. And I'm like, "This is how all people feel about comedians." <laughs> Like, Mark Maron's the least famous person Brad Pitt's talked to in 20 years. Right. <laughs> and he's like, look at this, look at this little like, I comedian. can't wait for you to break down. <laughs> I know. He treats like Mark Maron wait. like a beta fish or something. Yeah, he's exactly. Like Puts a mirror board. in yeah. front of him and watches him fight himself. <laughs> like it's going to be so funny. <laughs> and he's like, Leo, Leo, he's losing it. And I'm like, oh, comedy, comedians are not respected. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> we are inhuman. Like, that guy thinks Quentin Tarantino's a comedian. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, go, Mad Men is great. It's so good. I love it. What was other stuff I wanted to do on the podcast? I could really just talk about Mad Men all day, um, but we don't have to. Oh, a game. A game on the podcast. A How, game on the podcast. Yeah, this game that we're going to play right now is called Before and Afters. Oh, fun. Get ready to play Before and Afters. Sometimes when I just get having a nice time, I forget that I had plans <laughs> like for the show. <laughs> Which is good, I think. That is good. Yeah. Uh, how this game works is two movies have been smashed together into one. Ooh. I will read the smashed together plot. You have to guess the smashed together title. Awesome. So, for instance, we have uh, Star Shrek Into Darkness over there, which would be Star Trek Into Darkness and Shrek. Oh, cool. Uh, also, yeah. Shrek at Ralph is another one. Uh, they're not all Shrek. So you. <laughs> but they should be. <laughs> but they should be. I'll read you the plot. <laughs> okay. Um, Wolf of Wally Street. There's another one. Wally. Oh, that's Wall fun. Street. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Saving Private Silverman is another mm. one. They're not all mm-hmm. as. None of them are as good as the examples I've been told. In feedback. <laughs> <laughs> People are always like, "Why didn't we have any of those?" And I'm like, "Well, those were clearly those the first were, four written." <laughs> yeah. um, <coughs> excuse me. So I'll read you the plot. You can work together. Cool. Or you can right. compete against one another. And then figures it out. <laughs> no Just one the seems. Tension. <laughs> <laughs> the competitive tension settles in. Here we go. Number one. An aging male model begins to feel as though his time has passed, so he moves to Los Angeles and meets a struggling jazz pianist who wants to save jazz. An aging male. You want to work together? I think. 
I think it's Zoo. Zo- I've never seen Zoo. I have the second one. La La Land is the second yeah. one. And zo- is it Zoo La La Land? Zoo La Land. Zoo La La Lander is correct. <laughs> Zoo La La Lander? Hilarious. <laughs> nice. Nice. Also sounds like a spaceship from the Martian. <laughs> <laughs> um, number two. After getting broken up with, the man runs into his ex and her new boyfriend in Hawaii. And while at first her family seems nervous about an interracial li- relationship, <laughs> it turns out the truth is beyond anything he could imagine. I got it. Okay, go. Um, th- and does it have to use every word from each title? It's smashed together in a horrible way. Okay. Uh, so like, <clears throat> if you get you'll what you come up with will be better than <laughs> what it is all a lot of the time. <laughs> Yeah, anything that I'm coming up with the, with those combinations sounds terrible, and I will be mad. <laughs> Could it be get Sarah Marshall out? Could Is be. It? Could it be I think saving? We, those are those are the two. I think we can get closer. Okay. For get outing Sarah Marshall. I'll take that. Forget it. Out, forget it. I can't even forget say it. Sarah Marshall. My computer put two red squiggly lines under this, <laughs> not just one. It's like I'm like giving you feedback <laughs> to stop typing like this. Forget outing or get outing. Forgetting outing Sarah Marshall. Wow. Forgetting Fuck out. For, forgetting out. <laughs> <laughs> no one. Jake, uh, open the garage door and leave it. Close it on <laughs> Kyle's neck. <laughs> That's the upper middle class guillotine. <laughs> is you just yeah. close the garage, close the garage door, door on him. <laughs> Cover the sensors. They put like little assassin <laughs> hoods over the sensors. No, cans of liquid death over the sensors. Hi. <laughs> 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 two more a small group of friends organize an, el- organize an elaborate annual game of tag that ends with one of them becoming a disturbed cabbie in New York City Ugh. I don't know either of these I don't think I think it's taxi driver is the second one Okay. and I think actually tag is the first one is it do we get to ask if the movies are correct right. are those the r- two yeah all right, go for so it. So taxi tag driver, driver tag, taxi. Is it tag? Taggy, tag-y taxi driver. driver. Taxi driver. You see what Hilarious. I did was I, wow. I made you good think there job. was no way there was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I put a good one in there and you're like, well, surely these can't fit <laughs> surely together in a nice way. He wouldn't do that. <laughs> taxi driver is correct. <laughs> that is the cleanest one I've ever heard. That one <laughs> I felt so good, good about. Yeah. yeah. I think the sad yeah. part is I looked up. I'll try and like find a movie and then sort of try and wedge another one in. And I was like, yeah. what are the best movies of the 2010s? And Tag popped up. The, w- the movies Whoa. Google shows you are very odd. Yeah. Um, and then I was like, well, I don't know if I agree. <laughs> but John Han- Jonathan Hamm was in that one as Jonathan well. Ham Jonathan Hamm was in that Hamm. one. Yeah. That was such an odd real story. I felt like it was going to spawn more things because Tag was pretty good and very yeah. fun. And the cast was fun and funny and had a good time. And Jeremy Renner seems so happy to be in every movie he's in. He, he does, so doesn't he? Seem like I like a love really Jeremy Renner so guy. much. <laughs> yeah, just having a good even time. in the Avengers, yeah. they're just like, he's like, I know I can't do much, but I am happy. To <laughs> be but here. I'm happy to he be like here. even has a line about that. He's got the worst weapon. He's got a bow and arrow, dude. Is he Hawkeye? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. But his show was good. That's kind of when I fell off on Marvel. But I remember watching the Hawkeye show. It's like a good Christmas show. Oh, nice. I, I'm not I never a, saw. a Marvel person, so anytime people would bring up Hawkeye, I thought they were saying hot guy. Mm-hmm. And so I just thought And you everyone still thought Jeremy Renner. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, Jeremy Renner, yeah. Everyone's really into Jeremy Renner. <laughs> yeah. They're just calling really him the hot, hot guy. <laughs> like, everyone. What a lane he's carved out There's like in Hollywood. seven hot Chris's in this. <laughs> like, all of my friend's husbands would be like, I love hot guy. <laughs> Damn. You're like, damn, I guess you got to check it out. <laughs> I think Jeremy Renner was supposed to take over the Bourne and Mission Impossible franchises. Mm. Really? And Mission Impossible. Yeah, because he showed up wow. in, I think it's, is it Ghost Protocol? Wait, he shows up yeah. in one of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, And then, I, then, then Tom Cruise gets back on board with making more. No, but they really not. set him up to be like kind of another wow. Mission Impossible guy. Yeah. And then he's in the f- what is the fourth made Bourne movie, but then not the fifth. Just forever and in turn. Forever, all, <laughs> yeah. forever yeah. Hawk guy. Hawk but you know what? Guy. You know what? He's super grateful yeah. for all of those opportunities. Yeah. And I hope and he's, he's like just recovering having a great well. Time. Didn't he have like a horrible accident on oh, a yeah. snowmobile or something? Oh, like yeah, that? that's right. Yeah, yeah. I, I do um, like, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> all this because of tag. <laughs> okay, last one. A precocious teen gets pregnant and chooses a couple to adopt her unborn child, but they are haunted and hunted <laughs> by a man with a meat hook, potentially from <laughs> their past. Oh, shit. Do you know either of those? I know the f- 
first one I think is Juno, but I don't oh, know. Oh right, what the okay. The a meat man hook with was. a meat hook. <laughs> um, okay. A Juno. man with a meat hook. That's uh. Oh, I know it. You do? Is it Juno Country for Old Men? It is not. Fuck. All right. No, because he didn't have a meat hook. No, he's got like a cattle. He had, prod. He had like a. Yeah, or a cattle. Uh, yeah, yeah, cattle prod thing. Is yeah. it? Yeah, is that what it's, it is? I don't know. Um, man with a meat hook. Okay, man with a meat hook. <laughs> okay. Who, Who has had a, a meat, meat hook? hook? <laughs> Who's got a meat hook? Who no amongst us has ever <laughs> had Captain a meat hook? Captain Hook is the only one I know that has a hook. <laughs> Captain Hook. <laughs> Pe- Peter Juno Pan. Peter Juno Pan. <laughs> June Ju- Peter Pan. Never. never uh, Juno Lost Boy. Okay. Um, a man with a meat hook. Who has a meat hook? That's a big. Uh, is it a big, well-known movie? The Man with the Meat Hook. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Is it called The Man with the Is it Hook? called The Man? <laughs> That's such a good title. <laughs> this is a very well-known movie, I would say, from the it is. Uh, early aughts, maybe the late 90s. I can't remember. Okay. It so a it's a slasher. Hook. It's a classic um, slasher. But they okay. are hunted and haunted by a man with a meat hook, potentially from their past, when they fled. For, okay, that guy knows. <laughs> uh, when they fled the scene of a crime as teenagers. I'll just add a little bit more plot. Oh, could it have been? No, it wouldn't have been. A, no. Nope. Wait, I know what you did last summer God. didn't come out that long oh, ago. Oh, wait. No. And also, I, I don't Juno, think you had a meat hook. I think it is that. I, Ju- I think you know what, I, I know what, what you, did. you did last summer. Do you know what you did last summer is correct. No way! <laughs> we did it! Yes. Oh, that's so cool. 1997. <laughs> wow. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Dude, we totally did it. <laughs> no, that was wow. so good. I feel so accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, dude, I feel like Jeremy Renner whenever he gets booked. <laughs> This must be it. I feel <laughs> so grateful. Yes. Yeah, wow. Oh, great I'm going to hold on to this energy for the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm glad. Um, <laughs> we're going to take one more quick break, and then we got a couple more games, and we're out of here. All right, 41 minutes. 41 minutes. That was a great job. Yeah, that was awesome. Incredible. Do you know what you did last summer? Do you know what you did last summer? <laughs> That's just like the f- guy with the meat hook is just like Italian. <laughs> Do you know what you did last summer? Juno. Juno. Do you know what you did last summer? I know. That one almost know. doesn't work. I know what you did last that one almost doesn't work. I say to that, and I'm like, that one I've lost. I'm off board a little bit. Um, I love Taxi Driver. Taxi Driver's great. It's I think that so could be good. That was fantastic. If Tag was more famous, that's a shirt. Yeah, yeah I've never mm-hmm. seen Tag, but that. It's fun. Combination works beautifully. Yeah, there's always sometimes these movies come out that everyone says we don't make anymore, and that's one of them. Yeah, like a uh, eighty million to a hundred million dollar comedy, comedy that's pretty mm-hmm. funny, and the other one like the Jennifer Lawrence comedy from last year where everyone's it's like, so "No good. hard feelings." Yeah, yeah, that was good. I love And that. everyone's like, "They don't make this anymore." And you're like, "Well, there's that one." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I don't think anyone went and see, goes and sees that, yeah. and and it changes. Or uh, Barb and Star. Did you see Barb and Star? Vista Del Mar. Go to Vista Del Mar. Oh. Kristen Wiig and her like old school like groundlings. No. Homie. Genuinely Dude, so funny. Unbelievably funny. It's yeah. just straight silly character comedy that yeah. would have came out in the early 2000s with Will Ferrell and it just came out like 2 years ago. It's so fucking good. hysterical. I yeah. they get marketed ev- and I they get marketed here more than anywhere else and right. I still miss them. Yeah. yeah. Cuz I'll be like is that Billboard 9 years old? Or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Going by yeah. or is that TV show or what is this yeah. or what's going on? Yeah. Dude, um, put Barb and Star at the top of your list. Okay. Yeah. I totally agree. Yeah. It's so good. It's okay. hilarious. Next yeah. time I'm going to be on an airplane. That's a good airplane. Yeah, that's watch a really good totally. airplane movie. Yeah. I just saw, we went and saw Dune 2. Did you see Dune 2? Oh, not Dune? yet. Not yet. You Need to. got it. Set in row two. two. Row D of the IMAX. We, we and my neck still hurts. Close. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. close. It went in the <laughs> alphabet. <laughs> yeah. It's so close. It's, yeah. It's, but there are some perks. Because you can look at the r- around at the screen and not see. The you're literally thing. looking around at the screen oh, like wow. doing this happening in front of like you it's can't. real, like and you're, you're just yeah. like, hold on, I'm looking at Batista, and yeah. then you're like, please don't do anything over there because right. I'm trying to figure I'm out trying something's to focus happening on here. over here, <laughs> and I'm just like, could you imagine this hard. on your phone, dude? That sounds like uh, the Sphere in Vegas. That is what it feels like. Have you been like. to the I Sphere? <sighs> you were been inside of it. Yeah, I saw it. So Darren Aronofsky directed an hour long movie called Postcard from Earth, wow. which is, it's got like a narrative to it and, it and it's a story, but it's also just a cinematic, like mind blowing event. It's an yeah. hour and because and the, the screen is curved and it's like the 
So he it's, made it for that screen. He made it specifically for that yeah, screen. Yeah, I guess you have That's to like cool. really, really And it's multi sensory too. There's smells, there's feeling, there's <gasps> air, there's what? wind. Yeah. And you tilt uh, the seats tilt and the whole thing. It's it's so not overrated. Really? You That's gotta crazy. See it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. yeah. I'm like a yeah. big fan of it. And then when it was just you two for like thirty days, I'm like, we we did this on Dude, our phones no. already. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you two just refuses Why to like let us go <laughs> yeah, to bed. Let us go. Like, We're coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, I don't even really dislike you two. No. And I, I only be... dislike them because they've been forced on me. Yeah, I know. They're really, really there. Yeah. yeah. I worked at Apple when you two came out on everyone's phones. I worked at the Genius Bar. Uh-huh. And people would just come in and be like, delete this. And I was like, <laughs> did you like wait? You waited an hour and a half. There's a button. You know what I mean? I'm like, it's very, <laughs> yeah. I, I get that it's it, people button. like, I don't want it on here for free. It's like, we also gave you Hugo in your iTunes store, but no one got mad about that. Yeah. Um, but I get not wanting it. They're also, I don't know why they're like the funniest band to do that with. <laughs> yeah. Like if it was Radiohead, I think people would have been pretty indifferent. Yeah. yeah or like uh, or Coldplay. Or like what is this? Or even Coldplay. Yeah. Um, But it w- just something about you two that people are just like. No. Because I think like conservatives don't like Bono. Mm-hmm. And so they're mad about that. Yeah. And then like younger people are annoyed by Bono. <laughs> 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 Something consistent's coming here, yeah. um, but it was just yeah. it was people like, oh, we have another appointment to delete a uh, album off your phone. How would you do this if the store wasn't here? Would you push the delete button right. and feel okay yeah. about it? Right. Or people are like, someone hacked. People thought it was hacked. Yeah, someone hacked my iTunes and like, yeah, they hacked it and spent nine dollars <laughs> on you having this on here. <laughs> But it was a weird thing. You got to say something. Yeah. You can't yeah. surprise everyone with something new on their phone. It's like 1984 right. in the weirdest version. And by picking a band from then. Right. 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 <laughs> I do want to see the sphere. I like. I do too. Yeah. The sphere is cool. <laughs> Driving by it. You're just trying cool. to peek at it while you're going down the highway. And then mm-hmm. it like looks at you. It turns yeah. into an eye. And you're like. It does. Yeah. It turns into an eye. It literally does. I yeah. know. We just drove past Vegas and I literally said, I see it and it has an eye. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then I it's did my best to not crash shit. the car. It's yeah. super trippy. It's so and weird. And the, the inside is entirely operated by AI. Now, can they make it look flat? Does that make sense? If you're watching it, do you feel the curve in a hefty way? Uh, on the inside, when you're watching, when the you're screen? watching something, do you feel the curve? No, or are you kind of like immersed. No, because, you're immersed because they're adjusting yeah. the video to play on the curve. But, so yeah, it, yeah, it's not like they're yeah. just like. If you th- have a bad sheet for a projector or something no, like it, that, no. It, yeah. What it feels like is you're f- like you're moving through whatever the image is because the way he directed it is the camera is constantly moving. He's a fun person to pick to direct something. He's so, yeah, what if so he was fun. just like I'm yeah. just releasing Requiem for a Dream <laughs> only <laughs> for the Sphere? Oh my god, that would be so. The first upsetting. actor on screen at the Sphere is Marlon Wayans, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who's very good in Requiem for a Dream. But yeah. Aronofsky is the king of one-time watch movies. Yeah, he's like I've made up like eight of the mo- like best really, movies. Like really, really good. Watch once, yeah. one-time watch. Movies. And yeah. Black Swan, which I think has good rewatch, and I'm mm-hmm. like, but it's like I made a bunch of movies that I'll never in my life watch Requiem for a Dream again. Yeah, it's or didn't he? Too did upsetting. he do the Fountain? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I'll the watch fountain. the Fountain again. No, that yeah. I had a good time though. Yeah, had a good time. Every time you're just mm-hmm. like, that guy really f- got to talk to a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he likes his mom? <laughs> That's what we're talking about, Ari Aster. Like, yeah. the mother issues that Ari yeah, Aster... Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it, here's Ari Aster taking his mom to the Bo is Afraid premiere. <laughs> and she's just like, uh... uh hey, yeah. are we okay? Yeah. <laughs> Is he, like she's in his phone as mom question mark or something like that <laughs> question it's mark in a parentheses insane. she's like look i watched hereditary <laughs> and i thought maybe you were creative hey are you <laughs> but is there anything me? you wanted to talk about yeah. right and then i watched the beginning of midsummer and i <laughs> thought okay <laughs> at least there's a dad in this one <laughs> and then Bo is afraid is about a mom ruining a son's <laughs> yeah. life to where he can't function she watches his movies and she's like i just want to let you know you can tell me anything. yeah i thought we, you had had a great yeah. childhood. I Is just there anything him, like, I missed? Hey, buddy, I did my best. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> it's all about how, like, when he moved out, she put a foosball table in his childhood room <laughs> right. or something. Right. <laughs> so he's just, oh, you, you got rid of my room night? already? Yeah. <laughs> maybe, and maybe she's not around, and maybe it was a bad relationship, mm-hmm. but it's yeah. like, no, it seems if they have fine. a healthy relationship, I have no idea what his relationship mm-hmm. with his mom is. If they had yeah. a healthy relationship, this is insane. This is a <laughs> crazy <laughs> way. This is so to show funny. gratitude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I'm not gonna look it up. I want to keep living in this world where it's hilarious. <laughs> okay. 
Two more games, maybe one more game, depending on how long this game takes. This game, I'm not even sure if I have a song for this one pulled up. It's called Character Card Head. Cool. Guessing the game. Card the character card head. The character card head. The character card head. Guessing game. The game. Nice. How this works is um, a little bit like that game Heads Up where there's a someone you have to guess the thing that's up here. Yeah. The, the two of you are going to be the same movie character or, okay. or TV okay. show character. You have to alternate asking me yes or no questions to try and find out who you are. So am I a man? Mm. Am I in the movie? Blah, okay. blah. You'll take turns asking cool. that to try and find out who you are. A TV show or a movie? A TV show or a movie. Okay, cool. Um, and then uh, uh, first one to guess it proper wins. If you guess okay. a specific character, if you say, am I uh, Matt Damon from Goodwill Hunting, and that's wrong, the next person gets two, two, get, two questions. Uh, okay. Right. Um, so go ahead and take your headphones off and plug your ears. I'm going to whisper in here who, who they are. Jesus Christ, I forgot the name of the movie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, great. All right. In saying that I forgot the name of the thing this character was in. Oh, um, no. Okay. Yeah, I was like, why is this taking so long? I was like, I was like and they are yeah. in, um, oh God, how do I not remember this? Um, it was like psychotic. Um, I was like, why did he, did he have a dialogue with Jake while right. we were... <laughs> right. Are they bantering? What, yeah, what happened? <laughs> Why aren't we part you of this You look banter? and I've, I've left. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so you are a character from a movie or a TV show. Okay. Um, you can only ask yes or no questions to figure out who you are. Brent, you can go, f- you'll ask the first question whenever you're ready. Okay. Um, am I a man? No. Am I based on a real person? I would say no. Okay. Am I... Under 30 years old. Mm, unknown, but I would say no. Am I a woman? Yes. Okay. Am I in a movie? Yes. Am I in a franchise? Like a series of movies? I don't think... Y- I don't think you are. Um, <laughs> okay. Fuck. Yes. <laughs> It's a yes. Yes. Sorry, I was going <laughs> off the I was going off the person portraying. I think is only oh. in one of them, but you are in multiple. Yes, oh. you are a character. I need to remember that you are a character. Okay. And you are in multiple movies. Okay. Are the movies uh, based? Wait, what, what was? The, did you already ask if it was based on real? Yeah. Per, and was that answer no? No. Okay. Uh, are the movies uh, comic book movies? No. Um, am I? Played by a real person? Like, am I animated? Am I? Uh, animated? You're, you're 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 not. You're played by a real person. You're not okay. animated. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> am, is it? Am I? Am I in? Is it? Am I? <laughs> <coughs> I wouldn't know where to go from here either. <laughs> am I? Um, I know where to go. <laughs> 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 am I in in is it <laughs> is my character super helpful and like savior type for no. people? No. Okay. Um am I a villain? Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> when painting with the widest brush, you are When a painting with the widest brush, you are a villain. Okay. And you're Maybe thirties, thirties ish. This could, I mean, you could be like, you could I don't be? think it ever comes up. It but never it might, comes up. I would just say not relevant and and not think about that question. Okay, but villain, mm-hmm. villain, villain mm-hmm. is interesting, mm-hmm. and not comic book movie is also interesting, mm-hmm. and female is interesting. So clearly, the only <laughs> answer <laughs> is, am I in a? Sci- is it a sci-fi movie? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> judges? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. There's uh, fi-, fi and some early sci, but no. Okay. Did we ask if it's modern? No, you're not in a sci-fi movie. Okay. Am I... I feel like it's got to be modern. Is there, like, merch with my face on it? Probably a lot. 
Oh, okay. Is there? I don't even know if I call it merch. merch? Like, you are definitely not hawking it. <laughs> okay. But, but yeah, okay. your face is on things. Okay. Huh. Is is there a um, is there like a tentpole protagonist that I go up against? Yes. Um, am I am I? Did my last movie come out within the last five years? Um, I have um, no fucking clue. If I'm <laughs> honest. Um, there's a tentpole protagonist. Yeah. So there's um, like a winner. I have no idea. I literally have no yeah. idea. Not but it's not book. a comic book. No. And I, it's not animated. So what else could be I think uh <laughs> it's on this end. Um I, I I don't know. I would ignore that question. Okay. Um I th- <laughs> I think it, it comes out you there might be a portrayal of you coming out in the next couple of years. Okay, so okay, so it's like ongoing. Whatever it is. Yeah, well I mean they won't let it die. <laughs> oh. But it's not a comic but book. Not Dude, it's so funny. Sometimes people ask questions that I'm like, these are going to get you further away from what you are. Okay. Are we doing that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're literally asking the worst possible questions to divert you further away from what you are. Okay. Okay. Um, have there been more than three movies made with this character? Probably. I don't know for sure. Okay. Um, is, are these movies based on a book? Yes. Okay. The movies are based on a book. Okay. And there's a different... Have there been different yeah. actors that have played this yes. character? Oh. Uh, I feel like we're on a good track A lot now. of portrayals, I would say, hit the over on your number of portrayals. Hit the over on the three. The over oh. on... Yeah, yeah way okay. over on three, especially if you count like but TV or referential book. appearances. Whoa. Do you think it's like... Xena. <laughs> <laughs> Warrior princess. <laughs> How many people have played Xena? Uh, or like... Um, I only know of Catherine Zeta-Jones. Is the... Is there like one actress that people think of when they think yes. of this character? Okay. I would say there's a definitive performance of this character. Okay. Whoa. Did that definitive performance take place in between... 2000 and 2010. No. Oh. Let's find that out. Okay. Did it take place in the 90s? No. Did it take place in the past since 2010 to now? No. Earlier. Okay. (laughs) Um, uh, uh, Fucking Mary Poppins? What the fuck? Oh. Based on a book? But she's not a villain. <laughs> right, she's not a villain. Well, uh, it's arguable. Well, yeah, that's the villain true. in that movie is rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. um. The and villain, low wage the villain in that movie <laughs> is structure. Earlier than the 90s is very interesting. Do I sing and dance? Does she sing? Yeah, I think so. Oh. I don't remember. It's been a based long time. Bo- is it based on a kid's book? Um, is the movie based, th- the story, the character come from a children's book? Yes. Oh. Oh. Mm, what children's book has been like remade a bunch? You ask if it's Disney. Ooh. Is it Disney? At this point... <laughs> At did this point, I have no idea. I know it okay. did not originate as Disney, okay. but it did come from a children's book, mm-hmm. and it's a villain. Oh, uh, is it? Can I say the name of the character? Yeah. Is if it? Cru- is it Cruella Deville? It is not. Oh, oh, good guess though. Damn. Um, she gets two guesses now. Didn't originate as Disney. Oh, I guess. I think it's too tough Disney? to like. Oh, I'm not sure. But I think it's too tough to know what Disney owns now. Right. But I would yeah. say like when it was. Didn't originate as a Disney. No, no. The first appearance concept. wasn't in a Disney movie. Is it. Is the, is the definitive actress still alive? No. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> she plays a villain. Okay. And oh there's been multiple iterations. 
There's one definitive and actor. And she sings, and she sings. So what I don't particularly remember if she has song in the first movie. It's been a long time since I've watched it. Are we allowed to work together? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> it depends if you want to get the <laughs> fuck out of here or not. <laughs> At any point. <laughs> Um, we I'm might be teamwork <laughs> away from going home. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think we have to work together. This so week. I'm trying to think of female villains yeah. in, in movies that Let me might tell have you this. came from kids' books. Yeah. Like Matilda. I think you could. <laughs> I love that movie so you much. Know, so the cake lady. I think you could argue this is the most famous villain of a century. Is that fair? I think so. What? The most famous villain? That doesn't come from a Disney book? But it's a kid's villain. I, I, I mean, I you would have to con- tell me someone else who's a more famous villain from a movie in the 20th century. Oh, my God. Okay, let's go. Okay. So, villains. Yeah. Let's name them. It's so hard if it's not Disney and if it's not a I comic know. book. Like, what kid's book has it? And it's like hard. Like, Hansel and Gretel? Like, right. Is it? A, On that level. It, okay. Of fame. Oh. Wow. Hansel, okay. But it's a, it's a female. And as a feminist, I don't like casting negativity <laughs> towards women. Actually, no so women are villains. Very um, hard for me. Yeah. It was the structural system put in place I that forced her. I believe all women, and I think we need to give every female I villain a chance to speak. I think you're describing the sequel. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Um, the, the most, most famous, famous villain. villain? What the? F- Who? Who's a famous female is villain? She, is Catwoman? She, I know, but. She wasn't really so a villain. Much more famous. More then famous than Catwoman is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the nuts. More famous than Catwoman is <laughs> fucked up. That is honestly. fucked up. Feels illegal. <laughs> okay. The um, devil. Uh, does her story take place in America? Is it a witch <laughs> of some sort? Oh, is it the Queen from Alice in Wonderland? No, because that's Disney. Because it's Disney. Is it uh, the Wicked Witch of the East? West. Or the West? It is the Wicked Witch of the West. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you for not making me answer if the story nice. takes place in America. Because <laughs> in a literal sense uh, it does. Kansas. But in, right, but yeah. her story, oh, oh, man. Oz and surrounding area. Yeah, oh shit. Is, um, That's fun. That's really fun. That was you see, it all applies. I was yeah. going to ask you if it took if it was a uh, black and white or a color movie. <laughs> I would have stared at you <laughs> like I did when you asked if it takes place in America. <laughs> Do you see why I'm saying you're asking the uh, worst possible yeah, questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a recent one? Well, another Wicked comes out in November of this year. Oh, and wow. And like yeah. how many mm-hmm. Wicked's have peppered in and how many Oz yeah. stories have peppered in and yeah. right. been portrayed like 80 times Damn, according to I didn't, I didn't yeah. even think of that as the... Uh, Sequels and spinoffs. I right. didn't even think of that. I was going to say that in her name is partially in the <laughs> sequels, but that was a throw-off Wait, type yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's just such a... And she might be the most famous villain of the 20th century. Yeah. Because yeah, totally. she's like a common yeah, noun now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I she's become a colloquialism. Yeah. She's yeah. A col- yeah, she's a colloque. She's a colloque. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my queen is a colloque. <laughs> she is, she is. Um, I was going to yeah. ask if there's like hentai based on her. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah. Probably. What are they... What's like... Yeah. I would say probably. probably. I would yeah. say don't check my computer and yeah. probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, Brent, thanks for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. Thanks this for having never seen yeah. Mad Men. Yeah, this was so fun. I appreciate it. I knew that, you know, refusing to see it would come in handy one day. And it yeah. did. Wow. It did. Did Bring it value off? to people's <laughs> lives. Is there a more famous <laughs> villain? I think, I really the don't devil? think. The devil? But is the devil in a movie villain? A more famous female villain? Vill- yeah. Male even. Who's the most famous movie villain in the 20th century? The you, most could, you could like start telling me like action Voldemort, villains and stuff. Probably. And I'm like, that's, but that's yeah. the 21st century. Yeah, that's true. Primarily in movies. That's but true. Voldemort's not as famous as the Wicked Witch of the, the West. I that's don't know so that. fucking famous. Yeah. yeah. The Wicked Witch of the West. You say it to someone who doesn't even know the movie. And yeah. they know that it's like yeah. Yeah, that's a true. thing. That's Sauron? Maybe. Let's go. Sauron? I mean, but it's like. But he, you they still got to know together. the books. You got to know, know my my, my he, parents. He don't never know what became is. Right. right. He never became a uh, uh, cult like. Could you imagine culture. if that's how he died? Is uh, his feet shrivel up under something? <laughs> He's <melting. laughs> uh, I am no man, and he goes, <laughs> <laughs> his feet shrivel up into his little thing. <laughs> and he just evaporates. Um, yeah. I really because I, w- I I tried to think about it. I when we were saying. Th- the whole rest of the game I was trying to think if there's someone more famous. I think there's very famous, equally famous. Yeah. Biff. 
Biff <laughs> from Back to the Future. Oh, oh my god! I'm like, Hilarious. but even yeah. these all need caveats. Yeah. yeah. The Wicked Witch of the West doesn't even need the Wizard of Oz. She's right. like more famous than the name of the movie. I couldn't remember the Wizard of Oz. Right. I was like, the Wicked Witch of the West from, I'm from what is uh, the movie? I'm just stuck on. There's the Wicked Witch of the West, and then there's Biff. <laughs> <laughs> when she calls Dorothy Butthead. <laughs> <laughs> I could see this just ruin. I get her. similar yeah. young energy and fish out yeah. of water from yeah. the two of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, Michael J. Fox less abused yeah. by Hollywood, <laughs> famously, <laughs> but um, it doesn't show. That's very mean. Aww. It's the meanest thing I've ever said on the podcast, and I apologize to everyone, and we'll delete that. <laughs> Brent, let people know, guys. <laughs> Now that they've tuned out after my Michael um, J. Fox joke. Uh, <laughs> uh, thanks for listening. If anybody would like to um, help with the funding of this Mad Men pilot, <laughs> um, you can follow me on Mad Men the Chicago Mad Men the Chicago era. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, I actually have a new special out right now. It's called Conscious Bro. It's out on YouTube uh, so people can watch that or um, check me out on everything else at Brent Pella. Great. A lot of fun stuff out there. We'll have links down there in the description. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know why I ended on the uptick. Bye. (laughs) I've never seen 